this is the Hilton Bank side. It's a really gorgeous little room. Um, it's a lot brighter than this, but my camera's going a little bit weird. There you go. That's better. Really gorgeous vibes. It smells brand new. Best bit, bathroom situ. Love this. Look at that mirror. I'll show you my face. I'm looking a little bit worse for it, guys. I feel so tired. So they have a swimming pool here, which looks so chill. So the plan is to do the gym and some swimming, but I'm just gonna sit by the swimming pool, I think. So yeah, let's go. I've just come down to the pool area. It's a very nice situation. Got my laptop. Look at that. It's kind of so tranquil. Love it. Going to an All Saints event tonight. Um, so it should be fun. But I'm gonna chill here for a bit. God, I feel knackered today. So tired. Just had a little mini workout. I literally just slept in that room for like an hour. It was so warm. I was like, an unintentional nap time followed by a little tiny gym session. I've done something to my arm. I feel like I've really hurt my shoulder. <laughs> um, I think it was carrying bags back from camp because I well overpacked. But yeah, this little gym kit is Bottoms of Booty. I want to say I got them from Opoly or somewhere like that. I'll link them down below. Um, this is old, but it's Puma. Um, yeah, really trying to work on getting strong. I feel like it's coming along. I feel like I'm getting there. Okay, I I literally told you I'd show you my makeup, etc. I ran out of time so fast. The queen has just bloody died. So apologies that I didn't get it done. She's died. I feel so sad. She was a great fucking queen. Like me, got like... God save the queen because I feel like she was the best queen or best reigning monarch in the history. Do you know what I mean? There was no chopping off heads or anything like that. So very sad in England today, but we are going to celebrate the queen tonight. I'll show you makeup. I have, I said I'd try on all the new bits. I really didn't. I just put on my good old faithful Pixie by Petra Oh Natural. It is the one I go to a lot. The outfit is all All Saints. Sneak peek, I've also got a leather jacket, which All Saints is like renowned for. So hopefully I'll do a little snippet later where I show you, oh God, I'm out of breath. I feel like I'm so disorganized today, so disorganized. If you are a mom going on a school run, you can wear it. Or if you are, you know, a fashion forward girl. Just at the All Saints event, I'm gonna show you the pieces now because they are so, so good. Yeah. Beautiful pieces here. I hope you liked it. The yeah, rail is over there. Mercer seven on Instagram. We followed each other for ages. Yes, we have, but this is the first time that we met. But honestly, your collection is beautiful. So that's what we're here today to celebrate. And it's all in the corner. Tell us a bit about how did you come up with the ideas or what did you want to say? Well, All Saints contacted me because they saw uh, that lots of my followers wanted to bring back the raincoat. Yeah, that's it's like a rain jacket. Yeah. You should, you should get it. I'll tell Cassie to send it to you. Uh, it's super practical, it's got a massive hood, and no matter what age you are, I feel like it would suit your life. I can't believe you look so young. I'm 42. Don't tell anybody. No, I'm not. I know, it was great. Just say hi to the vlog. Hello, vlog. <laughs> Obviously, the queen dying tonight. Like, it doesn't hit me till a few days later. Just this happen to anybody else like I'm a slow processor um but yeah it's incredibly sad it was a very weird tone tonight because obviously it put like a weird tone to the event but it was an amazing event by all saints and I don't want it to seem like I was being tone deaf to the queen dying because obviously it's super sad and I will I probably be really sad about it in a couple of days time I'm going to process it but I found out like just before I was leaving so I didn't really have time um, so I'm going to separate the two things and tell you about All Saints tonight. It was such, I, do you know what, I really enjoy All Saints as a brand. I think it really embodies like feminine but with an edge and you guys know that's all what I'm about. <laughs> I like to be really girly but I also like to have that little edge you know. 
think it sums up my personality really well. <laughs> I don't know why I'm incredibly shiny. I just washed my face with a flannel. Maybe this is the way forwards. Have I just cracked skincare? Washing my face with a hot flannel? This could be it. I've just got in to the gorgeous bedroom at the Hilton Bankside, loving this hotel. This is the situation. I've just ordered a club sandwich, chicken, bacon, egg, and tomato on toasted bread with french fries. And the guy on the phone was like, do you want all of it? Is there anything you want to take out? I was like, no, I think, I think we'll go with it all. So we're having the full combo. Oh my god, guys, the queen's dead. This is about half an hour later, but... <laughs> what the fuck? <gasps> Christ! I was not messing around. This is absolutely amazing. <laughs> yes! See, I'm crying now. <laughs> oh. Okay, gonna go in with the Rimmel line liner. It's in the color spice, and I literally can't really do this on the refinder, but I really just go around the outskirts. Report back. And this is Tom Ford Dashing 307. I'm such a peachy, peachy tone girl. Um, so yeah, the look that we're going for today. <laughs> I, I woke up, my teeth is really, really sore. See where they're crossing? Don't know whether it's like in anticipation of starting um, Invisalign, like it's in my head. <laughs> it's really sore. But I've just had a phone call this morning, so that means my trays are ready. And the process begins. I'm very excited about it because I've been wanting to get my teeth sorted for so long. Kind of wish I did it in lockdown. Would have made sense. But hey ho, just shan't be kissing any boys until about January. <laughs> that like I kiss loads. <laughs> I feel like I went through the whole pandemic without even touching a boy. <laughs> Fragrance of choice today. We're gonna go for the Jimmy Shoe. I want you, honestly. It just reminds me of like a posh spy. <laughs> keep saying that but it's so good love the bottle as well how nice does that look on a dressing table i'm obsessed okay so last night's outfit i need to get ready earlier so i can chat to you guys because i'm always in such a rush but look how gorgeous these heels are firstly they're not that high so it's quite a comfortable i did not i wore them all last night and they did not hurt once and this is a they were brand new so that says a lot but look how cool they are and they've got this big buckle around them I really, really enjoyed the shoe. <laughs> the belt, I had so many DMs. Um, this is such a great, so All Saints do the best belts. Um, they have like really cool belts on there. So this is the belt. And it's like one of those ones that you can put around jumper. Like I find belts like this so handy. Um, so yeah, that was a good little find. So the dress, there's this little, Little one, I'll, I think I got a little story, so hopefully I'll put the picture here, or maybe I'll try it on for you properly in like a haul. Um, but this was a gorgeous print little dress. Actually comes in longer for those of you thinking it was really mini, so I got a tiny size and I scrunched it up a little bit. So I think if you got your own size and you wore it normally, it would probably come mid thigh. So it's not as short as it looks on me. I just <laughs> love a mini. But um, as well, I got this really cool biker jacket, like leather jacket. So, I, I, I don't think you can beat all scenes. Oh, oh. God, why can I not talk this morning? I'm a little hungover, I'm not gonna lie. I had a great night. <laughs> all Saints really threw a good party. Um, all Saints are renowned for their biker jackets, leather jackets. So, I really enjoy it because they have such, be it's like feminine, but like a little bit of grunge to it, like cool. And I find like as you get older, the places where I love to shop, they're all very sophisticated, put together, which is great. But sometimes, you know, I want to look a little bit edgy and I think all scenes do that so well. And some of the gorgeous, I love like the dark feminine side to it. So that's where my like love of all saints lies. But they do really cool boots, shoes. Yeah, I feel like all saints, I've overlooked it for so long, but it is such a good vibe. So I'm going to, I'm going to shop more there. I'm not going to lie. Really got me 
interested in it last night so you'll be seeing some more all saints that's for sure but right now i'm heading off to um going downstairs i didn't make it to the gym again this morning <laughs> so actually downstairs they've invited me to dinner i was meant to go last night but i reorganized it for lunchtime today so let's go see their restaurant and all saints last night in the goodie bag new fragrance you know you know how much i love fragrance guys but in the goodie bag this is what I'm gonna need today because it is chucking it out. <laughs> Just wanted to show you today's outfit. This is a cardigan from H&M, comes in black as well. So cute, I'm really, really comfy. I've just got leggings on and some boots. Um, but yeah, I'm just off for lunch, just thought I'd show you the outfit. So I've just come for dinner, lunch, I'm so northern, <laughs> in, it's called the Oxo Bar. Um, it's in Sutta, Southwark. <laughs> My pronunciation thing's so bad. But this is the restaurant in the Hilton Mag side. It was a evening restaurant and this is like a daytime bar. So it's like a cool laid back vibe. I was meant to go to the restaurant last night, but um, this is the food. Looks so good. I have come a little bit down I have just looked at pop teas again on my mood and it's just nothing feels right. So I'm in a bit of a mood. So I thought one way to cheer me up is to do some retail therapy. So I'm currently on Oxford Street. I haven't been here for ages. So I'm gonna do some retail therapy <laughs> to make myself feel better. I am not doing any retail therapy today because Selfridges is shut because of the Queen. I'm just walking past most shops. Everything seems to be shut. How bizarre. Not bizarre, but how strange. Not strange. Um, I guess it's like, I don't know. <laughs> so I thought I'd have a little chat with you whilst I'm waiting. My mum's gone into Asta. So definitely someone looking at me as well in the car next door, but YOLO. Um, yeah, I'm not in London for once in these vlogs. I'm up north and oh god i just need to find a flat asap it's really getting to the point now but realistically i think i'm gonna find it hard this is what happened in my last flat so this do you know what i did i move into my flat no two years ago i moved into my old flat and actually i didn't find it until end of october i think that so, think that's when the cause all the students go in september so i think end of september october is when i'm realistically going to find a flat now this Good. I found a really really cool one it was like a warehouse but it must have been an old like fashion PR company it looked so cool the only thing was there was no windows in it really there was just like a skylight which is rubbish for youtubers but that would have been amazing I just want a really cool space to like make videos in I think that's what I'm finding hard like I don't want a living room with a kitchen in the back because I can't film in it. There's just so many things when you're a YouTuber that you have to think about. So yeah, I just hold it on. I don't want to settle, like most things in life. This is why I'm single as well. <laughs> so yeah, that's it really. I'll probably vlog again when I'm next in London because there's not much. To... Well, there is a lot to vlog up here. I just feel very weird vlogging, personal space, family, private kind of thing. To be honest, I spend a lot of time on my bike. <laughs> I'm an avid bike rider. A, because I think it's more sustainable when you live in the countryside, like to go on your bike places, like it's safer. Um, and B, I quite enjoy it, I'm not gonna lie. Love a bike ride, who knew? Um, just going down the, do you know what? I'm gonna take you with me. I'll take my camera with me next time I go on a bike ride and show you some views. I just love the euphoria of like watching the sunset on a bike. That thing. Anyway, the person in the car next to me is still staring at me. Guys, <laughs> have I had a few days and a half? You ever feel like everything is just going wrong at once? This is my life at the moment. Anyway, I'm in the most beautiful hotel, so I'm gonna try and turn this upside down and flip it and have the amazing time still. So basically, I'm in London. Um, I've just come down. It is the 18th so the queen's funeral is tomorrow <laughs> it is so busy but i had this trip organized before um 
I just went to shoot. I made my way through the massive crowd at Green Park, which was a massive mistake. I just didn't think there'd be that many people. Like, I don't get it. Like, you won't be able to get anywhere near Buckingham Palace, surely. So yeah, I just came to shoot. I dragged all my clothes fr from, down from, up, down, down from Liverpool. Got my camera out and the battery had fallen out somewhere. <laughs> Which is so annoying. I had like campaigns to shoot, just and not only that, it means that I'm gonna have to go come back down and shoot like later on in the week. I'm just exhausted. And I like I knew this was gonna happen. I had four hours sleep last night. I was just I was getting so angry about the legal situation that guys has been going on since April. Go back and watch the um go back and watch the video labelled mini meltdown i think it's about april you know what i'm talking about but um we go to court on wednesday and i was just getting so frustrated and angry about it and like just absolutely baffled by this person anyway i'm gonna try and turn it around i am staying in my i'm gonna put it out there i'm gonna say this is like top three hotels in london it is one of my favorites to stay here. It's in Shoreditch, it's in a really cool area, but it's like got such a beautiful, relaxed vibe to it, like in the heart of Shoreditch, it's such a nice feel. It is heart Shoreditch, I've stayed here before, but honestly, so beautiful. I'll give you a little room tour, because I'm about to open my bag and make it go everywhere. So this is the beautiful bed. I'm going to show you my favourite part and why I probably like it so much now. This is why it's my favourite. Oh, this is just exactly what I need, honestly. After how the past few days have gone, I'm going to make a bubble bath. I'm going to order some room service. And absolutely Netflix and chill. Ignore my coats and stuff, but... This is the wardrobe situation. I'm actually going to unpack because I'm here for two days, which is fun. But yeah, I'm going to have a girls' night into myself. So this video, I'm going to be doing lots of me time. <laughs> I'm going to show you where I go to get my laser done. I get my tattoo removed again. Look, it's nearly gone. Who remembers? Ah, you're new here. <laughs> I had love laugh live written on my arm. <laughs> another story but it's gone it's really really faded so i'm just getting like the last bits removed i reckon two more sessions and we'll be good and then i'm going for an appointment with K philip kingsley to talk about my hair and trying to get my hair in the best condition so we're gonna have a little bit of a pamper session so this video is all about i don't know resetting and obviously the queen's funeral is tomorrow so we're gonna do afternoon tea and watch the queen's funeral so yeah, <laughs> and now I'm gonna take my makeup off and get into a bubble bath and I cannot bloody wait. Honestly, you know when just everything goes wrong? And I knew when I walked out, I literally sat in the car this morning on the way to the station. I was like, I was panicking. I was like, just getting myself in such a state. I'm just finding it so stressful. Keep coming back and forth to Liverpool all the time, doing this legal battle behind the scenes, trying to shoot campaigns, trying to find a flat. It's no real problems, but you know when all the problems just keep happening all at once? It's just a little bit. I'm just a little bit overwhelmed. <laughs> just got out the bath. You can hear YouTube on in the background. It's on in the bath in the bathroom again. I don't know why in all my hotel rooms the music, the like sound is in the bathroom. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on mute here. But I just ordered some food. Good morning, guys. I had a very good night's sleep last night. I'm feeling in a much better mood. Thought I'd show you how I do my lips this morning because I get a lot of questions about lipsticks. Lip, I just got an email that distracted me. Hang on. Okay, so I go in with the bronzer. I'm currently using Fenty Beauty one and just put it across my cupid's bow and then a bit underneath as well. So that's how I like prep and then I just like blend it in. And then I have literally only ever used. <laughs> This Rimmel lip liner, I love it. It's called Rimmel Spice 11. Um, cheap as chips. I need. To, I keep wanting to try the MAC one though. I've heard good things. And then I just go around the outskirts. So I kind of 
overlying with the bronzer but not overlying with the lip liner. Look really weird. And then I'm gonna go in with the Pixie by Petra Au Natural. I love these. Um use them a lot for like kind of everyday kind of vibes. I just with a liquid lip, I just blot it on really, really lightly and um, to avoid it getting too cracky. God I need this is so dry. So like I really use hardly any of that at all, but I just love the colour of this. They have great colours, Pixie by Betcha, definitely go try them. I think you can get them from Marks and Spencers. Um if you want to go swatch them in store. And then I just go over a little bit with the lip liner again. And then what I love about liquid lips is that you can have it matte and then wrong side, put a little bit of lip balm over the top. I use the EOS ball, which looks very manky. I kind of feel like I need a new one. <laughs> it's been in my makeup case far too long. Okay, makeup done. I just need to add some highlight. I've got a very shiny forehead. My skin is so bad at the moment. Um, I need to look after myself a little bit more. <laughs> I feel like I'm giving myself so much needed stress. How's my forehead really shiny? I'm just gonna go over my brows with the Gimme Brow. And then I'm gonna go in with the highlight. I love this. These two um, palettes, honestly, I swear by. I have had them for decades. <laughs> I love how the, the Dior backstage, I love this eyeshadow for its blending ability. It blends beautifully. I kind of use the brown and the black, the black a lot you can see there. Um, and then the highlight I use on my eyes, the cheeks, it's just such gorgeous, like, blendable situation that was really not a good sentence was it <laughs> i'll just go on long here it creates a really nice shine and then i weirdly weirdly is that the right word and then i've started kind of contouring i don't really like contour i feel like it looks really cakey when i do it oh maybe i'll use this brush actually um I just started contouring my nose a little bit. You might have noticed, but I'm not very good at the old contour. I feel like my skin type doesn't look well with a lot of makeup. Like, you know how some, I watch TikTok, I'm like, wow. Some people use so much makeup and they look amazing, but I just know if I use that much makeup, I would just look so caked in it. So that is the kind of finished look. I'm just going around to Abby's. It's the Queen's funeral today. And obviously I said yesterday, the crowds. I have a real fear of crowds. You know when you watch on telly, The Big Ben at Christmas, and you watch the fireworks, and you think, oh, it would be so, so nice to like go see that. I did it one year, and like I feel like I nearly got crushed to death because the fireworks happen and then everyone exited at the same time. You know when you, have you ever been stuck in a crowd where like you're chest to chest and you're just swaying and no one can move and all it would take is one push for you to get be crushed? Honestly, that has scared me so much since then. So whenever I get in a crowd, I'm like, no. So when I came out of Green Park Station, I just didn't think it would be that crowded round there because the queue and all the, they'd done the queue to be on the other side of the river. So I, I and Green Park exit, Green Park was closed, half the station. So I was like, it's gonna be not that busy. I thought it would be out of it a little bit. Oh my gosh, I walked out into one of those crowds and I was just like, <gasps> So today I'm going to stay as far away from like Buckingham Palace area as possible. I am going around to Abby's. I have a birthday gift for her and also she's going to do like, a, we're doing afternoon tea and Prosecco in, and she's hired out the entertainment suite in her flat, in her building. So we're going to watch the funeral on the big screen in the safety of our own home. So I just thought that was a better vibe because honestly, London crowds, I don't know if you saw on TikTok, the Notting Hill Carnival, just feel like they don't, um, they don't organize them very well. It's just always too many people. So yeah, I feel like it's one of those things where loads of people from outside London come in. 
but all the Londoners stay away because we've seen it too many times. So yeah, that's what I'm doing and I feel in a better mood today. I got myself in such a funk yesterday. I don't know if this happens to anybody else, but I was getting so stressed out because of the legal case situation. She just, every time that woman pops up again, she literally kills my soul. Um, she is an absolute compulsive liar and like, you know when you have to like, just honestly, <laughs> the amount of shit that has gone on behind closed doors this year is unbelievable. I said to the other girls involved, we need to go for a large glass of like wine when this is all over. <laughs> So I'm going to court, it goes to, the, the case goes to court on Wednesday. I've worked so damn hard to not let her get away with it. So just so you know when you'd like and like comment on all my videos, you are helping me thrash this case because I just don't want her to do it to anybody else and I have a feeling she's just gonna keep doing it. She, I've never known someone to compulsively lie in such a way and it's madness because we have so much evidence like it's, it's crazy. <laughs> I feel like she almost believes her own lies and it's so dangerous to like be involved in someone like that. It was such an eye opener. I feel like my biggest mistake in life is letting people in and thinking that they have the same morals that I do. Like, yeah, it baffles me how bad some people can be. Like this whole year has just been such an eye opener to people that take advantage. Especially when I feel like these kind of people prey on weak people as well And I was in such a weak moment in my life and I got preyed on massively And I still see it now and I've got to the point where I'm like, no <laughs> No, I've learned to like see it coming and like honestly I have such a massive brick wall up now that like to get through it You're gonna deserve a medal <laughs> No one is fucking with me anymore, I swear But I've learned when I was in such a state last year, I think it was around April, you probably noticed in my vlogs, I'd lost so much weight. My long COVID was out of control. I had like hives all over my body. I was like losing control of the situation because like so much had got to me. And um, the only way that I controlled that is what, like I was desperately trying to like seek help from the doctors. I was like at breaking point. I emailed every single doctor that I'd been in touch with over the process of long COVID, like begging them to help that it was, it was quite embarrassing. <laughs> but I was in so much pain or like so much discomfort and just wanted my life back that I was like desperately reaching out to people like help, help, help me. And actually the only thing that managed to help me was when I was like, nobody's going to help this situation apart from myself. And it was only when I took control of my own health and like, like that moment when I was like, this is me that's going to sort this out. It helped me massively. So if any of you guys are in the same situation, that mind switch of like, I'm going to get myself out of this was the game changer. Like, I just changed my diet, changed my sleeping habits. Like, I just put my emphasis on like, fix, doing everything in my possession that I could get myself better. So the situation that I'm currently in, I'm gonna change my mindset and stop dwelling on everything that's gone wrong and fix this myself. So this week, I am going to find a flat. I said to my friend that I was with who was shooting with me yesterday when I lost my battery. I was like, do you know what? Maybe when I come back down to shoot in a couple of days, that's the day my dream apartment is gonna come up and I'm gonna be in London and ready to take it. So every, sometimes clouds have silver linings. So I'm just gonna go with it and sort it out myself. We're gonna get a nice home. I'm gonna get an assistant. And just everything that is in my power to help me have a smoother life gonna be fine <laughs> so on that note i'm gonna take you to breakfast with me at the heart shoreditch because it's rather lovely this hotel so let's go have some breakfast
how gorgeous is this bathroom? I would love to have a house with a bathroom like this in. It's beautiful. If you've ever wondered what it's like being an influencer, I have a few videos at the moment that are on like one mil, 2.5 mil. And it's really interesting. Whenever I have like a virally video, the comments for the first 500k are always amazing. Like amazing comments, lovely people, so nice. As soon as it hits like the million mark, you have no idea how brutal people are in the comment section. <laughs> like if you have not got the thickest skin, don't ever put yourself online because people will rip you to shreds. <laughs> I was sat there with Abby last night just like sending a screenshot. I usually don't even read them to be honest. We were just laughing about it, but they are so vile. <laughs> the best ones is like, from plastic surgery to I'm a whore to, I don't know, just any insult under the sun about my face, my body, you name it, it comes in. So there's always like pros and cons of being, like having a good video that's got loads of views and stuff. Like it does never ever stop coming. But yeah, I, I, it does, I don't let it affect me at all. Like I can honestly say, I couldn't give two shits about what people write on my comment section, but I really, feel for people that do let it get to them but if you are ever in that position in life where someone's being negative towards you just know it's always to do with them like if they're saying something about like let's say your nose it's usually because they don't like their own nose it's never someone that's really happy with their nose going oh she's got a horrible nose it's always someone's insecurity that they're projecting onto you just climbed into bed. We've been watching the Queen's funeral all day, very, very sad. Um, just got back from Abby's, climbed into bed, ordered room service and catching up on YouTube. It's a very good situation. Um, washed my hair ready for my appointment with Philip Kingsley tomorrow. It is, um, what's it called, maintenance day. I'm getting my tattoo removed again and we're gonna to the trichologist at King, Philip Kingsley, which I'm so excited about. So I'm gonna take you along for a day of maintenance and shopping we're gonna get that in as well <laughs> this is what i've just ordered we've got some kind of bruschetta thing some hummus some salad good morning guys from the hearts shoreditch i just want to move in here look at this bathroom so so good okay appointment day first agenda <laughs> getting this bad boy removed for those of you that are new here when i was about 20 years old i decided I like to claim that this was before it became such a slogan. You know this because it's in the wrong order. <laughs> I have obviously the slogans live, laugh, love. I had love, laugh, live written on my arm when I was tw about 20. And then it became such a gimmicky slogan that I was like, how did that even happen? <laughs> like it wasn't a thing when I got it done. Um, so I got that removed from my arm. You can see it still very, very faintly. I'm actually really just pleased with the results already. Um, so I think I reckon two more and it should be completely gone. It's taken maybe four sessions to get to this point. Um, I don't find it painful. It's unpleasant, but it's not painful. It's the type of thing that would make a grown man cry, but I feel like females would take it like a walk in the park. Um, not to be sexist, but by the plucking of eyebrow situation, it's that kind of thing. It feels a little bit on the same pain threshold, so I find it very copable. And then we're going to do the hair, but um, I haven't done my hair, I just whacked a hat on today. So yeah, let's go to appointment number one, just got a H&M H &M knit on. It's big boy hat season, would have worn my hair down, but um, obviously going to get it done today, so I haven't bothered doing it at all. Got this gorgeous black old bra on underneath. I love like a little bit of lace showing. And this is a H&M Cardi that I've been absolutely living in. Um, let's sort this out, that's better. <laughs> oh, and gorgeous Fendi tote, which is filled to the brim of crap. So I'm currently in the Philippines with Salon. I've just had a talk to for an hour about what we're gonna do to my hair. So good, I can't recommend it enough. We've talked about like, we talked about my hair and stuff, so I'll tell you a little bit more about it when I get home. 
but we're just gonna go for a treatment then. So we're gonna put some treatment on my hair. I thought about getting changed out this hoodie for this part of the vlog. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, CBA, it is freezing. I'm just not in the mood today. <laughs> if I sound like I have a lisp, I had got Invisalign, not yesterday, day before. I don't think many people, I've not seen anyone mention this, but dear God, this is painful. I literally want to rip my teeth out. <sighs> and I take it out to talk to you guys, but the more I take it in and out, the more it just hurts. So, I apologize for the lisp. I've only got this on for 12 weeks, so it should be off shortly. <laughs> By Christmas, I'll have a brand new set of gnashes. Oh my god, the pain is like so... Ah, I can't describe it. If you guys have had him this line and any tips, please let me know because at the moment it is the most like annoying kind of pain, like a dull ache that I just want to like rip my teeth up. Anyway, I'm going to do a little Karen Millen haul for you guys. I was going to do like a proper haul, but actually it came. I love this collection. It's the Lydia, Mil M the Lydia Lise Millen collection and I love her designs and I really can't talk. And I love her collections on Karen Millen. I'm in so much pain, <laughs> I can't tell you. So along with not really being able to talk and wanting to pull my teeth out, <laughs> I've pulled a muscle in my shoulder. It's, uh, I've had it since I came back from Cannes from carrying my luggage because it was way too heavy. And with carrying my luggage back and forth for London so much, I'm in agony, like, and it spread all along my back. It's killing me. Like, I really don't know what to do about it. <laughs> so I'm in a bad way. My hard drive has just crashed as well. Um, got to London last week, as you guys know. Battery, not on camera. Do you know, just ev everything at the moment. Please tell me Mercury is in retrograde and is about to come out sometime soon because everything keeps not going to plan. <laughs> I have had no sleep last night. My teeth and my shoulder kept me up till 5 a.m. So if I look a little bit tired, that is why. This lisp is so bad. <laughs> Please tell me I get used to this. <laughs> so funny, I was editing a, vlog, um, a whole video yesterday and all the way through it, I am doing this <laughs> in between takes. <laughs> ah. Anyway, um, the collection is gorgeous and I like ordered, put a massive order in because I was just like obsessed with it. However, it's coming, it's all too big. So I'm a bit confused because I shop in Caramel a lot. I'm, in, I'm just a standard size six on their website or like an XS, like it fits very well. But a lot of this is coming up huge. So the jeans in particular, like the trousers that I got, they're coming up more like a size 10. So I'm a bit confused why Car how Caramel and sizing has gone so weird. So I'm gonna try these on as best as I can and hold them for you guys to see and stuff or like, belt it some of the some of it fits some of it's fine some of it really isn't so we're just gonna work for it i wasn't gonna do a proper haul because i just wasn't pleased with how it was looking um beautiful pieces just size down <laughs> unfortunately i can't size down so yeah let's try it on so you guys know i'm such a feather lover on sleeves i just love them so this is gorgeous how cool is this feather sleeves they also have like a puller neck with feather sleeves as well so so good so good i just love like having fun with the clothes and having that little bit of extra fun with it like rather than just a plain cream cardi that was by the sleeves and it's so soft so soft and as well for like the christmas season i think this is great for like an evening out as well like that extra bit of like va va voom to an outfit love this so this came in a blouse which you've seen on my instagram and a dress form the detail that has gone into this is absolutely beautiful. It's got like a cream underlay and then this beautiful material. Like I don't know if you can see it's all beaded as well. It is stunning. It's too big, but it's stunning. The blouse fit a bit better. They brought out like a belt to go over the top, but I would have, it fits with the belt, so you can cinch it in with the belt, but I would have loved this just on its own. I just think it needs to be tapered in a little bit better. Um, so definitely size down, but I think, oh, it's just beautiful. So this is the blouse version. I wanted to wear it with the jeans um, that I, I ordered. <laughs> I cannot get used to my, my lisp, it's so bad. 
Um, I wanted to wear it with the tra cream trousers, but they were just too big. But I pictured this with like beautiful cream trousers. I thought that would be beautiful. Um, pop that corset belt around and it probably gives you a little bit more of a waist if it's a bit big on you. Um, but yeah, this size down two in. But oh, the stunning artwork of this is just phenomenal. Okay, so this was my favorite things about this collection was that you guys know how much I love a belt. Um, they came with these like corset belts. Um, I got the XS to S and they fit very good. And I love this because it's got like an adjustable strap. So however like long your torso is, you can really fit it to your body, which is great. So they came in black and brown. There's definitely an element of like the olden fashion like brought into this collection, which I've always been a big fan on. They also brought out the corset to go around the shirts, which I adored. However, this is just really big. It just needs to be, it wasn't doing the job on me as well as I wanted it to, because I needed it to like cinch it in a little bit more. But I love the idea. It's just a shame they were a bit big. But these come in black and brown. Um, I'll try it on here as best as I could. You probably get the idea. I just, um, for my personal taste, I probably wanted it a little bit tighter. Okay, this is stunning. There was a variation on this as well. Um, so check out the website. They had a few different styles. But these are beautiful floral trousers. Look at that pattern. And the amount of fabric in these is gorgeous. And Caramon does this quite often where it looks like a skirt, but it's in fact trousers, which I kind of like. Um, this gorgeous top, long sleeves, gorgeous like little lace-up detailing, how beautiful is that together? But also, imagine this with just like a shirt or a plain top, like knit top, or this with a pair of jeans. I really love it when brands do this, like make a dress, but keep them co like as a code, because you can really get like multiple use out of it. So this shirt, it's such a beautiful silhouette. It really reminds me of like, like a nod to horse riding and there's definitely an element of that throughout my style. I definitely love that kind of vibe with this like jeans and the knee, like skinny jeans, knee high boots. There's definitely an element of horse riding which I really enjoy in outfits. Um, so this is such a beautiful shape with the corsets around it. So beautiful, but even like your own belt would work really, really well. This fitted fine. So definitely a good basic shirt for you guys to pick up. So the great thing about Caramilla is that they do a curve section and a petite section. A lot of the time I do shop in the petite section because I don't know why the internet always thinks I'm tall, but I'm five foot four just if that. So petite section in Caramilla usually works really well for me, especially in mini dresses. This is a mini dress jumper with a cute little floral skirt. I tried this one, I don't think it's, it fitted perfectly. So usually the petite does really fit, like a great size six or a great small size if you're a petite girl. Um, I just don't think this suited me. It's just not my vibe. <laughs> I enjoyed it, but like, I tried it on, I was like, this is not me at all. But it might be you guys, so I thought I'd try it on and show you. But I like the idea, I just, I feel like it's just too girly for me. I, like, I know I'm feminine, but I kind of like it with a little bit of edge. Just this was, this was too twee for me. Um, but I loved it all the same, like the cable knit on it, gorgeous, so really thick material as well, really good quality this whole collection. So these were the trousers, I thought they looked absolutely amazing on the site, however they were really tight around my ankles but I don't know if you can see, like there's just a lot of space from the bum to the waist, but the fit of these were just not good. It just seems a very weird shape, like it almost goes out. Do you know what I mean? Rather than in at the waist. Okay. I have the same issue with the leather trousers as well. Um, they look stunning on the site. And again, it was just really went out at the waist. Do you know what I mean? Like, it go, rather than going in at the waist, it's gone out. So, I'll try them on in case you guys want to try them on. They might fit other people. <laughs> I feel like I'm so sorry. I feel like I have to keep apologizing for the way I sound. I'm hoping this, if you guys have had Invisalign, does this get better? Does my lisp get better? Because <laughs> right now I just feel like I've got a mouthful of plastic, which is generally what it is. Guys, I feel like I'm really losing the plus at the moment. I don't know what it is. I am making so many mistakes. I feel really like <laughs> stressed out. 
I don't know if you've noticed, but obviously I am back and forth from Liverpool all the time for work and stuff. And like packing, unpacking, packing, unpacking. And that journey is not easy. Like it's for hours, if not more, lots of swapping and changing. And like I had the legal battle behind the scenes. We went to court on Wednesday. It went well. Um, the judge signed it off so we can push further with it, which is great news. But just even like little bits of that going on behind the scenes, it stresses me out phenomenally. Like I get so angry about the situation that it happened. Um, and I can vouch that this girl is still living her best life with my money. I, I have such bad um, trust issues going forwards, honestly. I do not believe anything that anyone comes to me with or sends, like I am, I really wish I had this my biggest mistake is life that thinking everyone is a good person that is sadly been so changed this year that like my boundaries have gone so sky high that like if my inner circle is so tight and small <laughs> i just feel like i've lost the plot this year um still house hunting it is still so bad and like I keep on just like going back and forwards with ideas and like what I need to do and you know and there's just so much going on in my head but it's all right it's okay we'll get through it <laughs> I just really want like my stuff out of storage and to get back in a flat um yeah I'm, I'm thinking about holding it off a little while and maybe buying I don't know it's all a little bit daunting uh, my shoulder is really bloody killing. 